All right, so here's uh, something really interesting when it comes to this uh, sea monster. Um, you see how initially it started as uh, sort of a smooth cone, but we've added some ridges to that, and there's a bunch of them actually being added. There's one already placed here, another one in the process here. Um, there's a couple of different ways to do that. Um, you may have seen this uh, time lapse, the sea monster, and if you wondered how to do that, here's uh, three different techniques that might get to the result that you're looking for. Uh, so essentially, let's start first with uh, kind of a rough of what the the uh, the head will look like. Uh, basically, something like this. You know, it doesn't have to be exactly the same. It might be a tube more like this at, at an angle. It doesn't matter. So one way you can um, add details to that, first of all, is uh, right here. You can select the widget move, and when you select widget move you can go and grab a point. Well, first of all, you have to grab the curve. There's only one curve in this case, but it's still showing in orange, so make sure you click it or right-click it if you have multiple curves to choose from. And and then you can grab a point, and as you move it around, it will reshape that area. Uh, the quality of that depends a lot on your resolution. So if you go down low resolution, it's not going to show a lot of details here, but you can go and bring it up if you have enough power on your graphics card and enough memory. Anyway, so this is the technique you can use to modify existing geometry, and it's very sensitive to how you change the shape down here, the widget move, and the scope or the scale of it too. So you can certainly have more than just one little point being affected by that. If you bring it down to a kind of a narrow area here, that's what gives you that very detailed appearance. So that's one technique. Another technique is to uh, not do the rigid move, but the rigid rotate. And what that will do is essentially uh, grab the same point here, and then you can move it sideways to kind of rotate and twist it. And so the effect, the effect of that can also vary again with the size and the scope that you have here. So you know you can use that in a couple of different places to uh, to bring ridges and notches and, and other uh, areas of interest to that. And then there is a, another one which uh, I find particularly useful, especially if you have a, a tablet and you want to just draw more details along that curve. So what you do is you go here and you select the draw details option. And with that, you, you simply just draw the detail. Let's say you want to do have a little bumpy here. It'll add the bump to that curve that you currently have selected. If you want to go down, it'll go down. If you go up again here, so let me undo that and basically do a little zigzag line like this. Stuff like that will add details just as you've seen it in the Sea Monster tutorial. And here's a look in that perspective view.